I think uh, Sasha keeps doing that regal cutter. Really soften the back of the neck up for the bank statement. Bank statement. It looks like Mandy's trying to make sure. Uh, is Mandy trying to test Dana? There's Mandy. She just wanted to make sure. I think she was trying to test Dana to see if Dana can handle being in the, you know, having that happen. And I, 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 I don't really know the logic there. It's back on. The bank statement is back on. And Dana Brooke, Dana Brooke, can't hold on. But Dana, Dana drops Mandy, and a three. But now the question is, again the question is, what does this mean? What does this mean? Wait a second, wait a second. Dana Brooke, Dana is breaking out. Dana broke out of the, wait a, wait a second. Dana, come on. Dana! No, don't you do that! Dana Brooke! Dana Brooke is going under the... No! No! Don't you dare do that! Dana! Dana! What the hell is going on? What in the hell is going on? Why isn't the referee? Why is the referee not getting in between Dana and Mandy Rose? No! 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 Dana Brooke! Dana Brooke! What the hell was that? Dana Brooke! What the hell was that? WWE 2K22 is showing its true colors here, but what the hell was that? I understand. I understand that Dana Brooke may have a little bit of unfinished business with Mandy Rose, but to call to, to whack her with a chair, to hit her in the head with a chair, to ram her into the call into the ring post, and to sl slam her shoulder first into the barricade. What the hell is wrong with Dana Brooke? I don't believe that. I don't believe that, and I don't understand that for a second. But this is, but that answered my question. 100% that answered my question. There is unfinished business here with Mandy and Dana Brooke. The only question now is, is Mandy Rose okay? Candice LeRae is fighting back. Candice LeRae is fighting back. Dana, scoot up, roll up, roll up. And get Dana Brooke. Dana Brooke. Dana Brooke. Dana Brooke is Raw Women's Champion. Dana Brooke is Raw Women's Champion. She caught the kid. She caught Candice LeRae off guard. She caught Candice LeRae off guard. Those last, the last few weeks for Dana Brooke, the new attitude, the intensity, has brought her the Raw Women's Championship. Something I have actually never done before. It is a ladder match. A ladder match between Mandy Rose, Dana Brooke, and Candice LeRae. You saw Mandy Rose make a beeline for Dana Brooke right at the beginning of the match. And Dana Brooke just beeled Mandy Rose to the floor.
knocked her head for right on the le right near the ladder. I think she just missed it. But the developing rivalry between these three women. The developing rivalry between these three women. The amount of intensity, the amount of tension between these three women for a rivalry that is not still, it is still in its infancy. Candice LeRae just knocks Dana Brooke, I mean Mandy Rose down with the ladder. Candice LeRae is the first person to use a weapon. Honestly, I have actually never done a triple threat match. I have actually never done a triple threat match. In all in the near year that I've had this game, I've never actually done a triple threat. Mandy. Mandy just got taken down. And Dana picked the right time to get back in. Code breaker by Candice LeRae. Candice is taking it too, Mandy Rose. You know, again, I was shocked. I was dumbfounded at the end of the at the end of the women's title match last week on Raw, or a few weeks ago on Raw, when Mandy Rose won the WWE Women's Title. You saw the recap. Dana doesn't want. Dana wanted to climb the ladder. Mandy Rose did not want her to climb the ladder. But coming into this match, you'd know that Dana Brooke made a pissed, pitched a fit. Dana Brooke pitched a fit about being in a triple threat. Dana Brooke pitched a fit about Dana Brooke's face off the top of the ladder. What Candice LeRae? Candice LeRae pulls Mandy Rose off the ladder. But Dana Brooke is still regaining her composure. Dana Brooke, Dana Brooke comes crashing off the, off the top of the ladder. You, but you saw the recap before the start of the match. It started simple. It started simple. Or it started simple enough. Man, I don't, we still don't know. Was it a mistake? Did, did Mandy Rose make a mistake? Did Mandy Rose do it on purpose? We don't know, but it feels like Dana Brooke thinks that Mandy did do it on purpose. That even if Mandy could justify her actions, even if Mandy could feel like what her action, whatever her actions were, that she had a reason. Mandy Rose, I mean, Dana Brooke didn't care. Dana Brooke did not care. She traded a friendship for a championship. She's not the first person to do that, and she certainly will not be the last. But the fact of the matter is, she traded a friendship with Mandy Rose for the opportunity to become women's champion. After that, after that, it was a one-on-one -on -one matchup. Mandy Rose, Dana Brooke. And what we thought was just that uh, two women being competitive and fighting, just fighting to settle the score, it turned out to be a lot more than that because Dana Brooke made it personal when she tried to take Mandy Rose out. And then a brutal back and forth between Candice LeRae and, Man and Dana Brooke resulted in Dana Brooke becoming women's champion. Fairy tale ending. Fairy tale ending. Mandy Rose dropped Dana Brooke with the fairy tale ending. And I guarantee you, there is going to be some some scores settled in this one. But the fact of the matter is, the score can only be settled so much in a ladder match. The score can only be settled so much when there's another woman in the match that has unfinished business with Dana Brooke. Candice LeRae lost her women's championship to Dana Brooke and that resulted in the unfinished business but the intensity the fact that you could clearly see that Dana Brooke wanted to take out Candice LeRae that Candice LeRae was giving it just as good as she got it 
last time. But now what happens if anybody but Dana Brooke becomes women's champion? But you saw the recap, and I recapped it for you. The fact of the matter is, the history is still developing between these three women. Gargano escape! Gargano escape! Dana Brooke is trying to sneak in and steal the women's championship. Dana Brooke is trying to sneak in and steal the women's championship. What in the name of what in the name of Candice LeRae was waiting for the right opportunity to strike, and she did exactly that on that on Dana Brooke. Dana Brooke takes the fall from ten feet in the air. Candice LeRae, Candice LeRae is going to inflict all the damage she can on Dana Brooke. Candice LeRae dives off the top of the ladder before climbing back up and trying to recapture her women's championship. And Candice LeRae takes a spill from high up in the air, an electric chair. Spilling to the outside goes Candice. Now it looks like Mandy Rose and Dana Brooke are going to meet 10 feet in the air. Mandy Rose saw it coming. Mandy Rose wants to twist the knot into the back of Dana Brooke a little bit more. She wants to get some revenge. And you know for a fact that the measure of revenge will come. A measure of revenge will come if Dana Brooke, I mean if Mandy Rose can leave with the Raw Women's Championship. If she can steal the Women's Championship away from Dana Brooke, you know that will give some measure of revenge to her former partner. Dana with a judo flip. Dana drops Mandy. But the ladders are floating to the floor. The ladders are floating to the floor. I think Dana's best bet would be, unfortunately, to go back to the outside of the ring. Get the, get the ladder outside. Or maybe get a third ladder. And that's exactly what Dana Brooke is doing. Dana Brooke is getting a third ladder, just in case. But Mandy Rose took that opportunity to go get the Women's Championship. And Dana Brooke takes Mandy Rose down. A textbook, uh, textbook vertical suplex by, by Candace. This is actually the first multi-person match I am recording since the since that fatal four-way. What? which was one of my earliest videos on the channel. The gory bomb, the gory bomb by Candice LeRae on Mandy Rose. Dana Brooke takes that opportunity, but Candice LeRae reverses her. Candice LeRae saw it coming. Candice LeRae saw it coming. A beautifully executed gory bomb. Gargano escape, Gargano escape, Gargano escape. Shades of her husband. Shades of her husband with that one. Gargano escape. And now Dana Candice LeRae is not. Candice LeRae is not. Climbing the ladder. She is taking this opportunity to inflict as much possible damage on Dana Brooke as possible. She is taking this opportunity to inflict as much damage on Dana Brooke as possible. To get some measure of revenge on Dana Brooke after Dana tried to take her out last time. Mandy Rose takes out Candice LeRae. Bicycle kick. And fairy tale ending. 
bicycle kick, and the fairy tale ending. You have to wonder, you do have to wonder, if Candace, uh, Dana Brooks getting another ladder. You have to wonder, depending on the result of this match, because it seems like Dana Bro uh, Mandy Rose and Candice LeRae are going after each other like pack of wolves. They're going after each other like they've had it, like they've hated each other for we for years. Again, Dana tries to sneak in and steal the women's championship as Dana as Mandy and Candice go after each other. Well scattered, Dana Brooke does have her women's her former women's championship cohort. Dana Brooke drops Mandy Rose once again. Nobody's up in the ring. Candace is stirring on the floor. My question earlier was is there a developing rivalry now between Mandy and Candace or is it still a matter of respect Dan Dana Brooke is trying to steal the women's championship as Candace LeRae tried to take her down one way Dana Brooke tried to I mean Man uh, Candace LeRae Mandy Rose Dana Brooke is still hanging well above the ring Dana Brooke is still hanging well above the ring and finally falls as Dana Brooke you know, Candace LeRae and Mandy Rose went after each other instead of Dana, instead of Mandy Rose. Down goes both women as Dana takes advantage of both women being on the ropes. It looked like she was going to try and take down Mandy Rose, but instead she took down both women. Into the corner. Mandy Rose has been at war with Candice LeRae in this one. And I feel like hasn't got enough revenge on Dana Brooke for trying to take her out. Candice LeRae is using the ladder. Candice LeRae, I feel like, has also only used the ladder. Dana Brooke close lines her to the floor. Dana Brooke close lines her to the floor. Everybody is down. Dana Brooke. Dana Brooke is again trying to steal the Royal Women's Championship. Dana Brooke is trying to steal the Royal Women's Championship and this time they take her down. This time they take her down. Candice LeRae. Three ladders. Candice LeRae brings a third ladder into the ring. Dana, Mandy goes to the floor. Gargano escape. Gargano escape. Gargano escape. Dana fights out of it somehow. I guess the grip wasn't as tight. But I say it again, that's the third time we saw the Gargano escape. It is clear to me, Candice LeRae is trying to inflict some form of damage on Dana Brooke after the back and forth. Imagine if that match between Candice LeRae and Dana Brooke was no holds barred. Imagine where they would have ended up. Gory special coming. Gory special coming. This has been everything that I expected from these three women and more. This has been everything I expected from these three women and more. Mandy Rose, I think, was trying to get Dana Brooke. 
Code Breaker by Candice LeRae. Candice is trying. Candice is going to try. No, mainly Rose gets back up. We have three ladders in each different corner. Three ladders in each different corner. Candice LeRae finally gets whacked with the, with the ladder from Mandy Rose. After Mandy has tasted that ladder multiple times from Candice LeRae in this match, Mandy Rose finally gives Ma Candice LeRae a taste of her own medicine. And Joe Maddock and, he's, and Dana Mandy is rubbing Candice's face into the mat. Mandy is rubbing Candice's face into the mat. You have to wonder. You do have to wonder how much the result of this match is going to play a part in what happens after. Candice is letting... I mean, Mandy... Dana. That's her name. Dana. Dana is letting Mandy and Candice fight. And now she takes Candice LeRae to the floor. Only in WWE 2K22 would you see a ladder react that way. Again, my question to you. What, what, what's with the hesitation? Dana keeps trying to whack Candice LeRae, but misses. Dana Brooke and Candice LeRae were fighting on the top of the ladder, but again they come crashing down at the behest of Dana Brooke. Dana. Dana's trying to sneak in the back door. Dana is trying to sneak in the back door, but Candice LeRae... But Mandy, Danny, I don't, I'm, I'm, I'm at a loss for words right now with the action we are seeing. Dana Brooke rolls to the floor and it's back down to just Mandy and Candace. Candace again takes the back to back, the bicycle kick from Mandy Rose and the fairy tale ending. Why wouldn't Mandy Rose climb the... She wanted to do it again. She wanted to do it again. Before she climbed the top of the ladder. She wanted to do it again. But we may see. We saw it. Dana Brooke. Dana Brooke got back in the ring. Just in time to see Mandy Rose. Mandy Rose has snuck up right on the... Mandy Rose, Mandy Rose is the new women's champion. Mandy Rose is the new women's champion. Dana Brooke got back in the ring just in time to see Mandy Rose steal. Or Mandy Rose, Mandy Rose. Dana Brooke got back in the ring just in time. Just in time to see Dana Brooke take that. I'm, I'm at a loss for words right now. Mandy Rose is the new Raw Women's Champion. Mandy Rose has got some measure of revenge on her former partner. As she stole her championship. But now you know. We're going to see a rematch. Mandy Rose, Dana Brooke, somewhere down the road. But where does Candice LeRae fit into this puzzle? You're going to have to keep watching to find out where this, where this rivalry goes next. Because in my opinion, it definitely seems like Mandy Rose wanted to prove a point to Candice LeRae during this one. And she most certainly did it because Mandy Rose is Raw Women's Champion. But I hope you enjoyed this first ever Triple Threat Women's Championship Ladder Match. And I, if you did... Leave a like, subscribe to the channel for more content just like this that you can only find right here at Wrestling Express. Till next time, before you go, do not forget to ding that notification bell to always know when a new video is up on the channel. And I will see you again soon.